Question 12. Convert between units of time. For number 1, let's look at A. We know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we're going to fill it in in the space provided. Now if 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, then 2 minutes will be twice as much, so it will be 120 seconds. Directly beneath it, now it's asking for a half a minute. If one minute is 60 seconds, then a half a minute will be half as much, which is 30 seconds. Directly beneath it, a quarter of a minute. Now a quarter of a minute, we can either say that it is a quarter of 60 seconds, which will give us 15 seconds, which makes sense because a quarter is half of a half, and 15 is half of 30. So you must remember that a quarter of a minute is 15 seconds. And lastly, therefore three quarters of a minute will be three times as much as that, which is 45 seconds. Make sure that you fill in and that you understand all of A. Now press pause to do A and B by yourself. Let's continue on to C. One day we know is equal to 24 hours. So half a day will be half of 24 which is 12 hours. Directly beneath it, now we want to know how much one and a half days is. We know that one day is 24 hours and a half a day is 12 hours so one and a half days will be the sum of these two, which gives us a total of 36 hours. Then, if one day is 24 hours, then two days will be twice as much, so we times it by two and we get 48. Use what you have learned to complete C and this remaining last one by yourself in your workbook. Let's look at D. Now we are going the other way around. For A, we changed minutes to seconds, but in D, we will change seconds to minutes. We know that 60 seconds is one minute. So for every 60 seconds will become one minute. So 120 seconds will be two minutes, because 60 fits into 120 twice. And lastly, 240 seconds, we must think how many times will 60 fit into 240. We know that 60 times 4 is 240, so this is equal to 4 minutes. Again, you must make sure that you understand D and press pause to do D and E by yourself in your workbook. Lastly, for F, 24 hours, we know it is one day. So 48 hours will be two days because 24 fits into 48 twice. You must now press pause and complete all of F by yourself. Let's continue on to two. For A, we are working with weeks and days. We know that one week is equal to seven days. So two weeks will be twice as much, which is 14 days. For B, now we are doing the other way around. We know that seven days equals one full week. So if we have 21 days, we must think how many times can seven days fit into 21? 21 divided by 7 is 3. So that means that it is 3 weeks. Press pause to complete A and B now. If we look at C, now we have 8 days. But we know that 7 days makes 1 full week. So 8 days, we think 7 fits into 8 once to make 1 full week with the remainder of 1 day. If we look at 26 days, we must think what's the biggest number of times that 7 can fit into 26. We know that 7 times 3 is 21. So, the answer is 3 
four weeks, but three times seven is only 21, so to get back to 26, we have a remainder of five days. Press pause to complete all of C now. Number three, let's continue. For A, we are working with year, a year and months. We know that one year is equal to 12 months. So half a year will be exactly half of that, that is six months. Press pause to complete all of A by yourself now. For B, now we are doing it the other way around, we are changing months to years. We know that 12 full months will give us one full year. So if we look at something like this, if we have 36 months, we must ask how many times can 12 fit into 36? 36 divided by 12 is 3. So 36 months will give us 3 full years. Press pause to complete B now. For C, now we have 13 months. We know that one full year is 12 months. So 12 fits into 13 once remainder one month. Lastly, for for 50 months, we must think how many times does 12 fit into 50? We know that 12 times 4 is 48. So 48 of those months will give us 4 full years, but we will have a remainder of 2 months because we are working with 50 months. Press pause to complete C by yourself now. Let's continue on to 4. These are mixed questions. You must use everything that you have learned to answer all of four by yourself now.